It's 2019 and today is the 11th of September, which means it's Catalan National Day. Now, this day, known as La Diada, has become increasingly important over the past few years as it's been used by supporters of Catalan independence to get huge numbers of people out on the streets of Barcelona, up to, up to a million at a time, to support their cause. Now, two years ago, the Catalans held a referendum on independence. Madrid declared the referendum illegal, and they sent in the riot police. Um, there were scenes of violence on the streets of Barcelona and elsewhere in Catalonia. But a majority of the Catalans who voted in the referendum voted for independence that day. And as a result, Madrid imposed direct rule on Catalonia, and 12 Catalan independence activists were put on trial for rebellion, and they're still being held to this day in custody, awaiting sentencing. So where is Catalonia right now? And where is Spain? What's going to happen in Catalonia? Will Catalonia eventually become independent? Will Spain actually break apart at some point? My name's Jason Webster. I've been writing books on Spain for about 20 years. I've written 12 books on the country. And this is my new book. It's called Violencia, A New History of Spain, Past, Present and the Future of the West. The book takes a long view of Spanish history from the very beginning to the present day and in so doing identifies patterns which I think govern Spanish history and which I think are coming into play once more today. And I think Spain essentially has two choices right now. It's going to have to choose between authoritarianism and democracy, between unity and breaking apart. Its history suggests that there is no other choice for it. If you'd like to know what I think about where Spain is right now and where Catalonia is going and what might happen in Catalonia and the rest of Spain, then please take a look at my book.